And now your WZDX Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Emily Owen. Stressful trees. I, you know, I just learned something new right there. I didn't know trees could be stressed. Maybe there's like tree whisperers, like there's dog whisperers. You know that dogs have, I don't know how a dog could have depression, but they can and yeah. it's so sad. So there has to be tree whisperers. There, I know there, I mean, in all honesty, there has to be something that can, <laughs> you know, make the trees not as stressed. But you know, these trees are probably uh, going to be real stressed if we keep seeing the tropics as active yeah. as they have been. Let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics and I'll show you guys uh, just an update. While we were dealing with Ida and the recovery from Ida, we had Julian, Kate, and Larry all be named. So we are right now on Hurricane Larry. And here's Larry, category three right now off in the Atlantic. That does say the remnants of Ida. It's been a long night here uh, in the weather studio, but this is Hurricane Larry a category three right now and here's Larry's track 120 mile per hour wind right now going to continue to move off to the north and the west will eventually uh, make it more northern in the Atlantic Ocean but not going to be a threat to uh, any portion of the United States now we are watching this one area for development in the Gulf of Mexico it does have about a 30 percent chance of development within the next five days Closer to home, we are seeing a good bit of cloud coverage right now. Notice cold front off to the west, got rain ahead of it. That's going to be headed in our direction tomorrow. Right now in Huntsville, we're sitting at 69 winds coming out of the southeast right around three miles per hour. And visibility, we are looking pretty clear out there if you're headed home from uh, watching a football game. You know, uh, for tonight, the overnight tonight, partly cloudy skies are expected 64. So temperatures will be pretty cool out there. And it looks like we'll be remaining dry for tomorrow. We'll start the day off in the 70s. Notice the sun icon quickly moves to uh, have some rain involved in it by the time we get to the 5 o'clock hour. 85 degrees by the 5 o'clock hour as well. It does look like most areas is going to be remaining in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. So here's that hour by hour, 6 a.m. tomorrow. If you're an early riser, we could still see some partly cloudy skies out there. But notice once we advance this into the late morning hour, could catch a few showers or two. But by the time we get into the afternoon, and the evening, that's when things are really going to start to ramp up ahead of that cold front. So this is tomorrow right around 930. Things could get loud at times, but no severe weather is expected. And it does look like by Monday, late Monday morning, we'll start to clear out. Rain chances look like this, 30% for tomorrow. That's mainly going to be coming uh, in the evening. And then the 20% will be early Monday morning. A slight chance of rain for Tuesday. 30% chance for Wednesday. And then good news is it looks like we're going to start to dry out heading towards the end of next week. Now, Labor Day forecast 85, a few morning showers, mostly sunshine, like I said. So if you are planning to celebrate outdoors, it's going to be a good day to do so. Seven day forecast looks like this 87 once again for tomorrow. Showers will move through in the evening. Temperatures, take a look at this, will be in the mid 80s for Labor Day, upper 80s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got a secondary cold front that will move through. We'll leave us with some fall like temperatures for your Thursday, and it looks like we'll stay seeing plenty of sunshine next Friday and into next weekend. Julia.